guys, it's Lex. Welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, this is not my usual look. I usually don't do my makeup like this or wear my hair like this, jewelry like this, everything. But today I wanted to do an e-girl slash alternative girl inspired makeup look. And just a disclaimer before we jump into the video, I know that this is like a lifestyle and like the music and everything like I'm not making fun of a certain like genre or a certain style I happen to enjoy this look so much and I think it came out so good I'm just trying to have fun and play with makeup and experiment with different styles so this is in no way shape or form like making fun of a certain group of people or like copying them or I guess I am copying them but making it my own I'm just I'm just having fun I'm just experimenting with a cool new makeup look or trend and honestly this look was super quick and easy I kind of use minimal products especially for summer because I'm always sweating. So if you wanna see how I created this look, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face with the Makeup Revolution Onyx Primer. It really smooths out my pores and just makes my face feel like super soft. I did already take a shower and like do all of my skincare. I feel like it also fits the dark e-girl vibe that I'm going for today. Okay, so you might think I'm crazy, but I swear I did my makeup like this the other day and it came out so good and especially for summer you don't want to be sweating underneath a full face of super hot makeup so i'm just gonna skip right to concealer yes i know it sounds crazy but i have my fenty beauty pro filter concealer and i'm just gonna conceal in my normal spots under my eyes on my forehead and my chin just to hide the dark circles and just even out my skin tone just give myself like that little bit of brightness that i need and i'm gonna drag it right up my eye like that just to give my face a nice lift and now taking a dry beauty blender yes dry because when your beauty blender is wet it mixes in that moisture with your product and I don't want that to happen I want it to be as like matte and as pigmented as possible so I'm gonna go ahead and just start blending with a dry beauty blender and trust me you will see that this works as I'm blending out my concealer I'm like why do my pores on my chin look so big and then I remember that it's like 95 degrees out today mmm perfect day to film a makeup tutorial underneath hot studio lights but we're gonna persevere because I already started and I don't want to refilm this video okay so next before we set our face with powder I'm gonna use a cream blush and then I'm gonna put another blush on top of it guys I'm doing everything all sorts of crazy today I'm gonna go in with the Fenty cream blush in the shade petal pop in I'm just gonna do like three little dots like the apple of my cheeks towards my temples and then I'm just gonna start pressing it in with my finger going like upwards towards my temple I've been trying to focus my makeup products my highlight contour and blush like kind of like in this general area to really give my face a lift so that's what I'm doing now I'm just kind of blending it upwards towards my temples and my hairline and a little bit on the apples of my cheeks because that's where my cheeks personally get naturally rosy I'm also just gonna put a little dot of it on my nose and just press it all around just to give my face some extra color and I feel like it looks cute when you have a little bit of blush on your nose I feel like that's a very like e-girl thing to do as well okay finally I'm gonna set my face with some translucent setting powder because I'm already sweating off my makeup this is not good so I'm going to use the Kylie Jenner setting powder in the shade translucent and I'm gonna take a morphe e49 it's like a densely packed flat brush and I'm just going to press the setting powder underneath my eyes and everywhere that I have product on my face so far because I'm sweating so bad already and I haven't even left my room yet okay so now that that's done I'm gonna move on to blush so the last time I did this look the one that I posted on my Instagram I use the Kat Von D fetish palette and I use this purple shade coven but I think this time I'm gonna use the orange shade Salem because I'm really feeling like an orangey blush today I'm gonna take a morphe e4 fluffy angled brush just swirl it in there pack on that product I'm just gonna press it everywhere that I put the cream blush just to kind of set it and give it some extra color I am gonna go a little bit heavier on the blush than I usually would though because I really want it to show up in pictures and I feel like that's just like an e-girl look like they always have intense blush that goes all across the center of their face like even dusted on their nose guys doesn't that look so cute I'm obsessed with colorful blushes lately like colorful but also like wearable if that makes sense and it also comes with corresponding highlighters that work 
really well. So I think I'm gonna use this orange shade Magic and just highlight with that. This is a Morphe M532 brush. I think this is like really an eyeshadow brush, but I like a really precise highlighter application because I like it in a specific spot. And by specific spot, I mean like right at the highest point of my cheekbone. I like the most pigment to be concentrated there and then I kind of diffuse it out into my temple. And then I always highlight my forehead and I highlight in between my brows because my nose is very round at the end, but I do like how highlighter looks on my nose. So I just put a little bit on the tip and then I highlight up here just so it draws the attention to here instead of my big round nose. And my cupid's bow as well, obviously. Oh my God. It's probably gonna stick so good to my cupid's bow because like my mustache area is sweating so bad right now. I'm gonna spray myself with setting spray before my face melts off. So obviously Anastasia Dewey set. She's just so good. Okay, so I just did my brows off camera and now I'm gonna add some faux freckles. And guys, I think this is like the quickest, easiest way to do faux freckles ever. So I have my Bondi Sands self tanner and don't worry, it doesn't actually like stain your face and leave permanent freckles. This is a Morphe M427 brush. It's like a liquid product brush. So then I just swirl it around in the tanner and then all like the little spikes get like saturated with the tan and each little bristle leaves like a random freckle mark on your face so it's really quick and then it also looks really realistic and like random because freckles aren't all the same. Colourpop actually came out with some freckle pens and I really want to try those out. Okay guys so we're actually almost done so I'm just gonna do a quick little outfit and jewelry change. Okay, so now that I have my black t-shirt dress on, we're going to move on to eyeliner and I'm gonna do a really thick, chunky winged liner. And I have hooded eyelids, I guess, or I have like a really thick, like, I don't know, my eyes are big, but like they're, they have like that flap of skin. So I'm gonna show you how I manipulate my eyeliner a little bit to get those perfect wings, even with hooded eyes. So what I do is I leave my eye open the whole time. And while my eye is open, I map out the shape of the wing that I want so that when my eyes are open, that's the shape that it will be in. And then I start going in and I start filling in the blank space. Once you close your eye and like look down, it will look a little bit wonky, but then you kind of just have to go and like fill it in and draw a straight line just to connect the two points. Okay, so now when my eyes open, you can see it's a perfect wing, but when I close it, it has like that weird like gap. So this is called a bat wing. You just connect the two together straight down and start filling it in. See, and it kind of looks like a little bat wing. Even if you don't have hooded eyes, if you draw your wing with your eyes open, you know that that's how the wing is gonna look when your eyes are open. So you have a better chance of making it look exactly how you want it if you kind of trace it out first and then go back and fill in the lines. So I'm just giving my lashes a quick coat of mascara and I'm gonna be using the Eyelore Asher Effect Lashes. I've worn them before, but they're really wispy and clustery, which I feel like will be perfect for this look. So what I'm gonna do is I've been obsessed with doing this, I'm gonna line my lash line with the lash glue first and then put the lash directly onto my eye. It's like so much quicker and easier and they stay on like immediately. You don't have to fuss with them. And this is the black tart lash glue. Let it dry for a few seconds just so it gets tacky. This eye is always the one that be giving me problems. Okay, lashes are on, liners on, blushes on. So I'm gonna do my lips before we move on to accessories, which I really think is gonna tie the whole look together. I feel like e-girls kind of do their lips really pouty, almost like the princess peach lip. So I'm gonna do a darker lip liner paired with like a nude gloss just to get that effect. And this is the Carly Bible Il Maquillage Lip Pencil in the shade Luna. So on the top of my lip, I'm kind of gonna overline my cupid's bow, but then underline the sides of my lips and then kind of just fill in my bottom lip as normal, just to kind of create that circular, like really puckery, pouty lip. Now I'm just gonna fill in the rest with the gloss. I'm gonna clean up the edges a little bit with a concealer brush because I see some like blown out lines where I messed up. Okay, so now for accessories. So I have this golden chain necklace from H&M. It's actually really good quality. Like it's really heavy and it hasn't like chipped or broken or anything like that. So I'm actually super impressed with this necklace. Okay, necklace number one. And I'm gonna pair it with my name necklace that I got from Fraser Sterling. It says Alexa. And I'm gonna make this one a little bit shorter than this one, like about here, just so it's like a little bit more layered. I just, I like that look. 
and I already have my little safety pin earring with a little stud like I like to mix and match my smaller earrings okay I'm just gonna do my hair and then I will be right back for the final reveal okay guys this is the final look what do you think I think it's so cute I have these little hair extensions that I used for Halloween when I was a unicorn like however many years ago and I just like cut them to match the length of my hair and I put two pieces in the front I was actually thinking about dyeing the front two pieces of my hair like doja cat but I feel like that trend is like kind of like starting to fizzle out I don't know let me know in the comments down below if you think I would look good with my hair like that and I have this fake septum ring that I also I think bought for Halloween or just bought it like to use in a picture or something like that not gonna lie I think I pull off this like edgy vibe like I totally went through a phase in high school where like hot topic was my jam I had gauges in my ears they closed up now but I totally went through that phase so this is like bringing me back and like this is what I would have probably wanted to look like when I was younger I was like trying to emulate this like alternative e-girl look but it was like not working out for me I can't stop looking at my hair I'm like I'm obsessed <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below if you're not already because I usually post videos two times a week and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Alexa West I'm really active on there as well and I can't wait to see you in my next video bye